the creepy place of New England. We're actually going to Groton, Connecticut to go to Haley's farm. But right now, you can hear all the cars come over. We're on the Mystic River Bridge over the Mystic River the in Mystic, Mystic Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if Heidi wants to, she can, after, she can take a look at the whole bridge. Yes, it's very cool. But enjoy this next episode of uh, an old farm that's now a park that might be haunted. Yes. Show them the beauty. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the Mystic River Bridge. And there's any pizza around here. Huh? Mystic pizza. Mystic pizza, yeah. <laughs> it's actually, I believe it's a drawbridge. I don't know if you can see that. There's my easy cars. Hi! <laughs> so... Enjoy this next show. And there's where there's Heidi. Haley Farm is an abandoned colonial era farmland, which is now a state park that is located in Groton, Connecticut. Around 1648, the land was granted to John Withrop Jr. or John Withrop the Younger who was the former colonial governor of Connecticut who lived from February 12, 1606 to April 6, 1676. The land was split up with the land that makes up Haley Farm becoming Fort Hill Farm. In 1789, it was purchased by Star Chester who was born August 23, 1759 and died February 12, 1812. It goes through several owners, but in 1869, the 400-acre farm was purchased as a summer home by Caleb Haley for $12,000, or about $210,000 in today's adjustments. He was a prominent fish dealer who founded Caleb Haley and Company in 1859 that operated at the Fulton Fish Market in New York City, which was one of New York's earliest open-air fish market. He was a gentleman's farmer, raising swine, chickens, and dairy cows. In fact, he would deliver 400 quarts of milk daily to the locals. He never made a profit on the farm, instead just enjoyed the country life. Caleb also liked racing horses, and would race them for practice around a small lake called Racetrack Pond. He was also responsible for the area's stone walls, as he created them as part of a hobby. When Caleb dies in 1924, the land is inherited by his only surviving child, Samuel, who continues to run the farm until his death in 1947. It then goes into ownership to Samuel's daughter, Juliet, until it was sold out of the family in 1953 to a man named A.C. White Jr. of Springfield, Massachusetts. However, he simply abandons it soon afterwards in favor of developing in Mumford Cove. In 1960, the homestead was burned down, and in 1973, several other buildings, including the carriage house, were demolished. In 1963, there were efforts from the locals to purchase the land in order to make it a park to prevent development on it. Money from the Groton Open Space Association along with federal and state money, was used in July of 1970 to purchase 198 acres from A.C. White for $300,000, or $1.8 million adjusted for today. An additional 57 acres of land was purchased in 2002, and today is a state-owned park and open to visitors to use the bike trails and explore several ruins of the old homestead. There have been a few paranormal teams that investigated here, getting such data as EVPs and strange readings with K2 meters. Now, here is Haley Farm. Well, we are in Connecticut heading towards exit 88. We're That's right. We're almost there to a place called Haley's Farm. And yes, that is not Mr. Steven. No. That is Miss Heidi. <laughs> We're going on another little adventure in the uh, country of Connecticut. I, people never get why I say that, you know. know. You and know. You don't need a passport, but you do need an ID. Yeah. <laughs> Be, um, anybody who's from Rhode Island, you know, people know Rhode Islanders know that. 
they don't even leave their town half the time because they think it's too far. So we make. Unlike us people from Massachusetts, we go everywhere. Well, I'm from Rhode Island. I you still go, go everywhere. So we're almost there on our next little adventure. That's going to be part hiking, part nature, part ghostly stuff. Ghostly stuff. So we hope you enjoy. Woohoo! <laughs> well, we are now on Brook Street, heading towards Haley Farm Lane. Haley Farm Lane. And we should mention that all the um, stone walls built around here. Wow, the sun's on they bright. Back to like the 1600s? Well, some of them do. Uh, most of them are kind of new. If they were built by a man named Caleb Haley. He liked, he just pretty much did it because he liked doing it. Uh, <laughs> hey, you should do what you like. You should do what you like. Okay, now this is not part of the farm, but I know there's houses built all around the old farm. Ah, I didn't realize that that car thing is in the way. Look at the beautiful fall weather. Dreadful destination. It's just dreadful. Sorry about the bright light. Bright light! Right, right, but we're almost there. Yes. Haley Farm State Park. We are here. And there over there is one, some of the remains of some of the old farm buildings. There's people here, but they might be walking. So we're not sure if we're going to come back here in the dark or if we're going to do... We're going to go walk around first before we do any... Um, ghostly hunting because I've seen other paranormal groups come here and do stuff in that farm area and right behind this car is Mrs. Heidi Hello. <laughs> she's a venture woman this is kind of actually like urban exploring too oh. <laughs> did I almost run into you no I almost walked into you <laughs> As usual, I wasn't really paying attention where I was going. And over there, that's where the bathroom is. That's where you go, you know, number one and number two. And it. Ooh, wait a minute, sorry. It's a pretty tree. It is a pretty tree. Let me get my feng shui moment in. So you eat poo veggies. Poo veggies. I know these are one of the old farm buildings. I'm not exactly sure. See if I can get you in the tree. Should I pretend I'm? Should I look like I'm actually like uh, being an explorer? Yeah. <sighs> oh wait. <laughs> okay, hold that pose. Do I look amazed? <laughs> I think so. Wait, let's see. You gonna put that on Facebook? Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll use it and put it in here. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> light just flashed in my eyes. I'm blind. <laughs> it's really bright. I can't even see the screen. Yeah, so we'll come back here later and do something in here. A kinda. Yeah. This looks like it was a room at one time. Bright light, bright light, bright light. Alright, I'm done taking a few pictures of the surrounding area. I'm going to show you more of this uh, old farm building. Uh, 
bad tidy. Gotta get out. Yeah. I'm glad we came this week instead of last week. Yeah, huh? Oh, yesterday was rainy and cold too. Let me get some backup. All right, I'm gonna hide it really, really good in this room over here. And I'm gonna keep it in here until we get back. But I'm gonna try to find a really, really, really good hiding spot for it. I don't want nobody coming along taking it. <sighs> There's a cup back here. What is this? Oh, I found a geocaching thing. So it might not be such a good idea to put it there. Back. Maybe we'll fill something out with it later. Uh, doo doo doo. Let me keep it right over here. So if there are any spirits in here, or anybody, or any ghosts, spirits, angels, whatever you want to call yourselves, we are leaving a recording device in here. Hopefully nobody will really show up and ruin everything in terms of like loud mouse. And feel free to communicate. We will not be here. We'll be here much later. Our I'm sure I'm just going to pick up a lot of wind from that DVR, but we, yeah, well, you know, the wind and stuff, but we'll see, it doesn't hurt to try. Follow the yellow big road, doo doo, follow the yellow big road, doo doo. Oh, there's another building over here. Yes, I did see the person earlier. This is like from like 16, 48 or 38 or something like that. I think so. Yeah, I think some of the stone walls would be. Yeah. I, I doubt these 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 buildings right here are. They look kind of newish. <laughs> <laughs> like they don't look like something that they would have used, like the cement and stuff like that. I think this is more 1900s. I think. I think. What's that? You want to go get the book spray? Yeah. Okay. And and you know what? You go do that and I'll go take video of this. Yeah, I'll use them. I'll take a few pictures.
It does. Because a farm used to be owned by Winthrop. I think John Winthrop. At one time back in the 1600s. Oh, I, this is not a road. It's just a big giant glacial rock. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a road over there. I know. I think we can go up this pathway. And I'm guessing that Caleb is supposedly haunts this place. Okay. But, but I, I for understand is down there in the valley. That that's where he hangs out. Yeah, because he's cool. More of Caleb's walls are. We're not sure if these are his his walls, but I don't know which ones he made and which ones other people made. But it was a good hobby to have, apparently. Yep. And they're all over the place, too. This is what New England is famous for, our stone walls. They said these look, these might be more new. They look newer because they cut, see, the way that you can see like the tool marks. Yeah, because the older, the more colonial ones are just regular ro uh, rocks. These are Caleb's walls. <laughs> when well, we go do the ghost hunt in the, um, the old barn house, we'll make sure we ask for him specifically. The orange. People hang, people hang them on their doors and stuff. Bittersweets. They're bitter, but they're sweet. <laughs> Birds like them. And chupacabras. Chupacabras. And Shaka Khan's. And Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan likes these. Some nice people make wreaths out of them. But we're going to retrieve our DVR, and it's actually, though the sun's out, it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> it's not, not a lot, but it's raining. I'm wiping water off of my camera now. So I'm going to retrieve the one DVR, and we'll see what we're going to do after we get that. And maybe we picked up some stuff on there that wasn't people. I almost tripped. Still here. Okay. There's Heidi and her dowsing rods. There's DVR, a new one. And we're in the farm room, I guess we'll call it. It's a little windy. We're going to try them anyway. Because Heidi's awesome and. She's nature woman. Okay. If there's anyone here with us. People are talking please, in the background. Please cross the rods. Anybody here? Please cross the rods. I'm not feeling it's okay. All right. 
We mean you no harm. We're just kind of trying to communicate. If there's anybody here and you would like to speak with us, please cross the rods. I'm not feeling anything. Like normally I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I, I can't, I'm not feeling anything. I okay. Don't, I don't think we're... We're alone, aren't we? Yeah, Alrighty. we are. Yep. Okay, we're trying in the middle section area. We got the DVR going. I'm just going to ask a few questions. Heidi will take her pictures because she is a picture woman. She's awesome with it. So, is Caleb Haley present with us? Go figures. I mean, I, it's all quiet until a car comes yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> Those damn cars. They get us every time. Right. I'll ask it again. Okay. Is Caleb Haley here? That's my camera noise. No problem. If you are not Caleb, what is your name? Caleb, are you sad to see your farm like this? Did you ever have any cows? Do you like having visitors here? Do you miss living here? Hey Heidi! Want to hold the camera? Because guess what else? I, I brought something with me. You did? I did. Okay. I did. 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 Does this look weird? <laughs> <laughs> Very weird. <laughs> we will. Caleb, are you here? Is there anybody here? Are you ha happy on how this place now looks? What is your name? I'm trying to get it close to the DVR so it picks it up better. Yeah. I'm going to ask one more time. Can you ask me, uh, can you tell me what your name is, please? Nothing. I'm sure they're wrong. Well, it doesn't look like we made, um, made any progress, I nope. say. <laughs> Thank you, Heidi. Oh, you're I, welcome. I you know me, I love being behind the camera. <laughs>
Okay. Getting the DVR out. I'll keep it right, right here. All right. Is Caleb Haley here? If you're not Caleb, what is your name? What was this room used for? I'm going to take a few pictures, but I'm going to keep the camera going. Here's the moon. I'm going to shut the info right off. Now here's what it looks like without the IR light. Like I said, it's dusk. But I think you see you can see better with it on. Did you die here? This right here is a device we can use to communicate. All you need to do is just sort of use your energy to manipulate the lights to go up. So if any spirit is present, could you tell me that you were here by making the lights go up for me, please? If you're Caleb, could you make the lights go up? Just use your energy. Sort of like touch it, you know? It will not hurt you. How about if I do it over here? Are you an animal? I just thought I heard a cow. <laughs> There's a bird. There's our animal. Somewhere over there. Do you remember other people coming back here and doing that similar stuff? Like asking if you're here? Are you from Mystic? Maybe Groton? New London? Okay, now we're in the other old building area. Um, getting, getting darker and because we're in open spaces, a little harder to see. And you can kind of see the twilight it's really getting dark. <laughs> Heidi's still taking pictures of the moon. So, I'll be over here and do another DVR. Caleb, are you here? Are 
Are you still working on the farm here? If you're not Caleb, then who are you? I'll try this again. There's the gray object over there with a little green light on it. You can use it to make it go up, make the lights go up by simply using your energy. Is there any spirit here? If so, could you move the lights up for me, please? Are you a man? If you're a female, could you make it go up? Is there anybody here at all? Could you please use the gray object to make the light go up? Ignore the airplane. <laughs> I'm going to take some pictures. Would you? I'm going to hopefully uh, feel free and um, let me take a picture of you. Well, we spent some time here in the dock, yes, and uh, once we learned about one of the problems about coming in here in the dark, besides <laughs> I can't see Heidi as much. <laughs> I, uh, wait a minute. No, I can see her. Yeah, with my glowy eyes. Um, is that be careful because people don't clean up their dog poop, and I stepped in dog really poop, and we bad. made the place smell very nicely fresh. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed this episode of Creepy Place of New England. No dog poop. No dog poop. <laughs>